Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Today we have some interesting and extremely rare footage of an early British Army bridge lane tank based on the chassis of a Covenanter. I came across the footage while watching some wartime archival footage on the British Film Institute's online collection. The link to the archive entry can be found in our accompanying article for this video over at armourersbench.com. The footage is available to watch on the BFI's website and originally comes from the Wessex Film and Sound Archive. The 16mm footage was filmed at some point in August 1942, but little else is said about the footage in the archival entry. The tank's hull number is visible as T18434, which I think would make it one of the earliest English electric-built Covenanters. The Covenanter was developed in the late 30s as a cheaper cruiser tank. It entered service in 1940, but saw limited active service, instead being largely used in training roles. The bridge element of the vehicle was a scissor bridge 30 foot number one. It was deployed and recovered by a clutch and a two to one reduction gear, and was powered directly from the tank's engine. A US report on the Covenanter bridge layer explained how it worked. The opening of the bridge begins after the launching mechanism has begun to pivot on the rollers of the launching frame. Since the cables are of fixed length, they act to open the bridge as it is pivoted about the rollers. Having been laid across the obstacle, the bridge is disengaged from the prime mover, the tank itself. The bridge is then ready for the passage of other vehicles. To retrieve the bridge, the prime mover crosses the bridge to the far side of the obstacle, hooks up to the bridge and pulls it back into the travelling position and is then ready to proceed to the next obstacle. The bridge had a span of 34 feet and vehicles up to 30 tonnes could cross it. It could be deployed in under three minutes, and in total the bridge and the system which launched it weighed about 3.5 tonnes. The US report also noted that, in one case, 1,200 successful launchings and recoveries were made by one vehicle without undue maintenance. Let's watch the demonstration again. The tank approaches the obstacle, which appears to be a small ditch. The bridge assembly then begins to rise to about 100 degrees before the forward portion of the bridge begins to pivot forward at the bridge's central hinge. In the foreground we can see a group of civilians and officers gathered to watch the demonstration. The threaded rod at the rear runs between the length of the bridge. Power is transferred to the gearbox inside the tank's original turret ring. It transfers the power to a threaded rod, which is then rotated. There are rollers at the front of the bridge, just out of shot here, which touch the ground as the threaded rod continues to turn the bridge deploys, with cables inside the framework pulling the front half of the bridge outwards. The vehicle had a two-man crew, with a driver and a commander. The footage cuts and doesn't show how the bridge is detached from the bridge layer, but the bridge layer is then driven over the span. Sadly, the footage doesn't show the bridge being recovered. In the footage, it takes the tank about 1 minute 30 to deploy the bridge. No location is given for the footage, but the presence of a number of barrage balloons in the background is intriguing. Perhaps it was filmed at the Royal Engineers establishment at Christchurch, perhaps at Bovington, or another army establishment during a demonstration. The system was only mounted on a small number of Covenanters. Some sources suggest 20 Covenanter Mark 1s and 60 Covenanter Mark 4s were converted into bridge layers. Far more Valentines were equipped with the bridging system, and subsequently the Churchill Avery became the British Army's primary bridging tank. And scissor bridges with similar basic designs remain in service with numerous militaries around the world today. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this little bit of footage really interesting. I certainly did. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And do share the videos with friends. It really does help. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider supporting us via Patreon. Every little helps, and your support makes making these videos possible. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.